Hello and welcome to this online lesson on income tax with me, Mr McIver, at the London Central and North West Maths Hub at Malibu School. Income tax is just one form of taxation. Taxes are the way the local and national government in practically every country collects money from its population. It's used to pay for schools, roads, hospitals, pensions, police, rubbish collection, unemployment benefits, all the stuff that you take for granted somehow or other has to be paid for, that's where the tax system comes in. Now the tax system is quite complicated in most developed economies and broadly speaking, taxes in the UK fall into two main categories. First of all, direct taxes. These are the ones that you know you are paying. Income tax is the one we're looking at today. It gets deducted from your pay every week or every month. National insurance is another one. We won't be looking at that today, although we will in a later lesson. And council tax, that's collected directly, but by local government. Then there are indirect taxes, and the best known one is that value added tax. These are taxes that are already included in lots of things that you buy. If you buy a new suit, a pair of shoes, a phone, value added tax has already been added, and that bit of what you pay goes straight to government. And then there are special ones, like tobacco duty, pretty obvious what that's paid on, a huge proportion of the price of every packet of cigarettes goes straight back to the government, and fuel duty, quite a chunk of every litre of petrol you buy, the money you pay goes back to government. Today, we are just looking at income tax. Now, with the exception of council tax, all the ones on that screen there are central government taxes. And the whole of central government collects its taxes through her Majesty's Revenue and Customs. We're looking at income tax, so let's have a look and see what Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs say about it. And here is what comes up on your screen. Income tax rates and bans. How much tax do people pay? Well, if you look, it rather depends on how much they earn. Up to £11,000 here, they don't pay any tax at all. Between £11,000 and £43,000, 20%. 43,000 to 150, 40%, over 150,000, 45%. So we have four different tax rates there applying to different tax bands. Two very important ideas there, tax rates and tax bands. And I should say at the outset, we are always referring to annual income levels here. All those figures on the screen there are the amount you earn in one year. And the usual abbreviation we use for that is PA, short for per annum. So let's look at it bit by bit and start off with someone on a low income. Somebody who's below the personal allowance of £11,000 a year. £10,000 per annum. Well, it's clearly below £11,000. So according to the HMRC table, that would suggest their tax rate on all of this is 0%. And 0% of 10000 is nothing. Absolutely right. £10,000 per annum, you pay nothing in income tax. OK, let's look at someone who's earning a bit more than that. Say, £20,000 per annum. Well, they obviously fall into this 11001 to £43,000 bracket, which means they're paying 20%. So it would seem reasonable to say, OK, they're in this tax band. That means they're taxed at 20%. 20% of £20,000 is £4,000. Oh, that's quite a lot, isn't it? It's also wrong. That is not how taxes are calculated. You never pay a single rate of tax on your entire income. It's a bit more complicated than that. Let's go back to the first person on £10,000 per annum. And let's add some axes to this drawing. That £11,000 here is what we call the threshold for basic rate tax. It's the boundary number at which you start paying tax. Everything down here, you don't pay tax on at all. This person, up to £11,000, their tax rate is 0%. Their £10,000 falls entirely within this 0% band. And our calculation was exactly right. 0% of 10000 is naught. But... When we change the chart slightly for somebody on £20,000 per annum, 
Obviously, it crosses the £11,000 threshold. But look, this great big chunk of it down here is still below the £11,000 threshold. And just like the person on £10,000, they don't pay any tax on that first 11000 Sure, they're earning £20,000, so they're above the threshold, but it's only this bit up here that they pay tax on. So, the calculation we should have done for the person on £20,000 per annum is this. They have £9,000, what's called taxable income. The gap between what they earn and that £11,000 threshold. So you actually work out 0% of £11,000 to get their tax on the first £11,000, it's still zero. And the 20% is just worked out on that top bit of income, that bit between what they're earning and that £11,000 threshold. So their total tax bill is actually £1,800, an awful lot less than the £4,000 we calculated last time. Like, what about somebody on a high income? Somebody who's way over this £43,000 threshold. Somebody who's earning, say, £100,000 a year. Now, I'm sure you've heard of lots of people who earn a great deal more than this. But it's worth pointing out that even at £100,000 a year, you are already in the top 2% of wage earners in the UK. So fewer than one person in 50 actually earns this amount. If we draw our graph again, there are our axes. As you can see, we are way above that £11,000 threshold, but we've also passed the £43,000 threshold. So we now have a more complicated calculation to do. As before, we work out the tax in chunks. On the higher rate, between 43000 and 100000 in their case, they are paying 40% tax. On the bit between 11000 and 43000 though, they're still paying 20%, and on the bit at the bottom, just like the low earner, they're paying 0%. We work out the gaps between those thresholds. So the calculation is 100,000 minus 43,000, so there's 57,000 in that higher rate of tax that they have to be taxed at 40%. But they still only get taxed at 20% on this slice here between 11,000 and 43,000. And they still get taxed at 0% on the bottom 11,000. So their total tax bill is these two non-zero values added together, which is a total of £29,200. So, as you can see, as your income goes up, you pay more tax, but you still only pay on slices of income. Where it gets a bit more complicated is once you get into celebrity land and people on incredibly high incomes. Let's look at somebody on £200,000 a year. Well, clearly, they are now over this £150,000 threshold. If we draw the chart exactly as we did before, and I'm warning you, this isn't quite right, we get £11,000 there, of which they pay 0%. Another £32,000 there, of which they pay 20%. Another £107,000 there, of which they pay 40%. And then finally, £50,000 at the top, of which they are taxed at 45%. If this is how you did it, you'd end up with 45% of 50, plus 40% of 107,000, plus 20% of 32,000, and so on and so forth, ending up with a tax bill of 71,700, which is a lot, but in fact, somebody on this salary would pay even more. That figure is wrong. And that is because, at very high rates of income, something else comes into play. On the same page of Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs website that we got the rates from is also this. The personal allowance goes down as your income goes above £100,000. It goes down by £1 for every £2 you go over £100,000. Well, that would mean that by the time you get up to £200,000, your tax-free personal allowance has dropped by £50,000. Well, it's only got £11,000. You just don't get a personal allowance if you are on a very high income. 
and your tax bill is worked out like this. You actually pay the basic rate on the very first pound you earn. The higher rate on that gap there, you're still only paying the top rate above the 150,000, but you don't get that personal allowance. In fact, if you're married, if you've got various pension arrangements, you may get reliefs of other sort. But we're here to teach you maths. I'm not trying to teach you to become an accountant, so you're not going to be tested on anything this complicated. And just to finish off the calculation, here is the calculation you would do, and they actually are paying £80,000 in tax, about 40% of their total income. So let's just look now at what you do really need to know. First of all, a low earner. They have not hit the threshold for paying any tax at all. They are taxed at 0%. A middle income earner. They're on £20,000 per year. They are still taxed at 0% on the bottom 11000 They are only taxed at 20% on their taxable pay of 9000 £1,800 in tax. And the high earner... Still 0% on the first 11,000, 20% on the next slice, but they enter the higher rate of tax at 40%. And that's the calculation we do for them. You need to be able to carry out, with complete understanding, all of these calculations. And there are a couple of other calculations I'd like you to be able to do too. Let's just look at these numbers in a bit more detail. Clearly, the first person there on £10,000 per annum is paying no tax. Their income tax payable is zero pounds, so their average tax rate is zero pounds out of 10,000. It is zero percent. However, the person on a sort of middle income here, 20,000 pounds a year, they're paying 1,800 pounds out of 20,000. Well, if you work that out as a percentage, that's actually a tax rate of 9%, a lot less than this 20%, which is the rate at which they're being charged because they're not being charged 20% on every penny. And this figure here is called the average tax rate. And that is a very useful way of comparing the amount of tax different people pay. The average tax rate is when you work out their total tax payable out of the total amount of money they actually earn. So when you get to the person on £100,000 a year, even though their top rate of tax is 40%, and the thing we call their marginal tax rate is 40% because they pay 40% tax on every extra pound they earn up here. In fact, their average tax rate is less than 30%. So we've looked at marginal tax rates, we've looked at average tax rates, we've looked at tax thresholds. A quick summary. Bands are slices of income. And on each of those tax bands is a particular tax rate which applies. The way you calculate taxes is by slicing the income up, as shown in this diagram here. The boundaries between these slices are called thresholds. You need to work out their taxable income in each of these slices and work out the percentages separately. And once you've got the total tax they pay, you can figure out their marginal rate of tax. Well, that's easy. That's just the highest rate they're paying. And, as important, their average tax rate. And that is what you need to know about income tax. I'll leave the screen for a few seconds so that you can pause the video, and it might be helpful to have in front of you as you work through the questions you've been set.